So the other day, I was gonna film a video, but... Yeah, I'm definitely not making a video today. It was raining pretty hard, so I stopped. And today, I'm just gonna tell you guys a quick story. So two weekends ago when I was home for the 4th of July, my roommate was taking care of my cat, Talos. But he kinda, he kinda kept on updating me throughout the weekend, and on Saturday, my roommate told me that he was visibly, like, not feeling well. He didn't really eat that much, he generally eats, like, all of his food at the end of the day, and he only had, like, half of it. And then the next day, he pretty much didn't eat at all and just didn't move which is very uncharacteristic of him because he's a crazy cat. So something was obviously wrong and he's like, hey, when you get home, you might want to take him to the vet. Shit, okay, I can do that. So on Monday, July 5th, I drove back to Milwaukee from my hometown, which is normally like a three hour drive for me. Traffic was so bad that it took me four and a half hours. It sucked, it took forever, and that, that's probably the longest it has ever taken me to get back to Milwaukee. I didn't get back until like 7.30 at night, and right when I got home, I just dropped off my backpack, and I could tell that Talos was pretty messed up. My roommate said that he had been sitting in the same exact spot the whole day, which he never does, and he could tell that he just like, something was wrong. He wasn't feeling very good at all. Oh, a couple things I forgot to mention. He wasn't able to go to the bathroom. Not number one or number two. My other roommate had told me he had also thrown up like three times that day. So, like I said, I dropped my backpack off and immediately, right as I got home, I picked up Talos and took him straight to the vet. There's also a weird smudge on my lens and it's kind of bugging me. I hope you guys can't see it because I just keep on looking straight at it. So I took him to the vet, explained the whole situation, I told him that he wasn't eating very much food, he had thrown up like three times, wasn't able to go to the bathroom, and that he was just hanging out in the same spot the whole day. So they took him in, did their whole, I don't know, whatever vets do, and eventually I got a call like 30 minutes later where the vet explained the situation to me. I was hoping he was just going to be constipated and they would, I don't know, give him stool softeners or something, maybe change his food. I don't know, but it turns out that cats create crystals in their urine. Apparently this is normal. And what can happen with these crystals, especially in males the ages one to two years old, which is exactly what my cat is, apparently those crystals can get, lo can get lodged in their urethra. Yeah. So males the age one to two are more susceptible to this than female cats because they have a longer and thinner urethra than females do. I feel like I need to like rate this video R just because I'm talking about a cat's urethra. <laughs> but anyway, what had happened with Talos was that there had been a buildup of these crystals and they were blocking his urethra. He could not pee. He couldn't go number one for like a day and a half. Could you imagine not being able to pee for a day and a half or almost two days? It'd be awful. So they also looked at his urine itself and it had blood in it, which apparently is pretty typical with this sort of thing. So the vet gave me three different options. It was either like send him home with just some anti-inflammatories and hopefully it goes away. Most likely that wasn't gonna fix it. The second option was to sedate him, flush out his bladder, remove whatever was obstructing his his pee pathway, <laughs> and also do a urinalysis to see if he has a UTI. The third option was to leave him overnight on like a constant IV fluid and all of this stuff, like a catheter and a bunch of crazy stuff, and it was super, super expensive. So I went with option number two. The vet told me that options two and three basically had the same success rate. So I gave him the go ahead, let's do option number two, sedate him, do all that stuff, and they said it would be probably a couple hours. So I went back home and just hung out for a little while. And eventually at like 11.30, I got a call back from the vet where they're like, hey, everything went well, he's doing great, he's just waking up. He did have a UTI, a urinary tract infection, so they gave him some antibiotics for that cleaned everything out, flushed his bladder. They said the UTI was so bad that 
what was in his bladder basically looked like Merlot wine. If you don't know what Merlot is, it's a very, very dark red. <laughs> he had that much blood in his urine. That poor little guy, it felt so bad. So they told me that I can go pick him up in about a half an hour. They also told me that he needs to be on prescription cat food for the rest of his life to help prevent the formation of these crystals in his urine. At like midnight, I went back to the vet, picked up my cat. He was very, very loopy because he was on cat anesthesia, but he was very happy to see me and he was a good boy. So then I got back home at like 12.30 after this whole like four hour ordeal and they said I needed to monitor him for like another hour or so. He was fine, he was just really, really out of it and they explained this medicine I had to give to him. Basically I was giving him pain medicine for like a week straight and also he had some other medication that helps promote urination, I guess. There were like little syringes that I had to squirt in his mouth. He didn't like it, but he, he tolerated it, I guess. So then finally, at like 1.30 at night, I was able to relax after being home for like four days and drinking a lot of alcohol for four days straight. <laughs> I was very, very exhausted, and the last thing I wanted to do when I got back to Milwaukee was take my cat to the vet and have to deal with this whole situation. But Talos is doing very, very well. He's he's his, his same self now. He's normal. He's, he's a good boy. He's a crazy cat again. Thank God I don't have kids, because oh, this cat situation, and I have to deal with that if it was a human being. Oh my God. Awful. Couldn't do it. Props to you people who have kids, oh my goodness. So yeah, that's my whole Talos cat ordeal vet trip after the 4th of July story. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, see you in my next video. Peace out. Pretty sure there's been people watching me do this the entire time. There's also a bunch of cars. This this smudge is still still bugging the hell out of me right now. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Getting better. This it's getting better. I'm moving a little bit more. I'm out in a park walking around, which is awesome. <laughs>